What's up, guys? Uh, about 1.30 here on Earth. I'm a little bored, so today I'm gonna teach you guys the ins of making a good lunch. Got some insider tips on what you should be eating for lunch. Lunch tips, pointers, some ins on, you know, good eats. I'm just letting you guys in. People always ask me, you know, every day. They're like, John, what do you eat for lunch? And I'm like, animals lettuce stuff like that i'd have to say an all-time favorite for me would have to be a tuna sandwich me growing up i love tuna love the taste the texture of it just in my mouth gotta give a big shout out to tuna real quick breaking boundaries out here all right so first things first you're gonna need some uh, wild caught tuna can't be you know cloned you're gonna need a mixing bowl as well and you're gonna need a can opener all right, so we're gonna go ahead and start this process out by taking the top off of the wild caught tuna. So what you do is you get yourself a fancy one, and this just kind of clips over the edge like this. Little... Oop! I'm just out here making messes. So then you're gonna bring that over here to your sink, and you're just gonna you're gonna drain that out a little bit. That's pretty cool. Just gonna take it, do it without getting the juice on your fingers. If you just simply, I kind of got it on my fingers, but we're not perfect. Almost all of that juice out. Pop that top off. Go ahead. Next step, you're gonna need a fork, a mixing utensil. And we're back with a fork. You take all the tuna out and you just go. Contents are now in the bowl. Now, people eat tuna with mustard, ketchup, pickles, fucking anchovies, shrooms, everything. You know, people just put everything in their tuna. That's not me, I like to keep it nice and simple. Keep it simple with some uh, miracle whip. Never go wrong. But there's also another key ingredient, potato chips. Everybody on the face of the earth puts potato chips on top of their tuna sandwich. S skip that whole process and put the potato chips inside of the ingredients and make it a part of everything. Bring this together, teamwork. All right, so now that we got, you know, we got the contents of the sandwich, chunks of tuna that come out of the can, and you kind of just want to, you know, stab the tuna chunks, big old slabs of meat potato chip in my braces. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna half spoon it. Mix this in. You gotta have a nice little flick of the wrist. So this is the most important step. Give them a light crumble. Give them a light crumble into the, into the bowl. So you might be thinking, what's next? Well, obviously, it's time to put it onto the bread. But today, I, I switched it up. So we had some hot dog buns chilling. It's something new, so I like to switch it up. We got the ingredients, and now we're gonna go ahead and simply lather them into our hot dog bun. And you're gonna get a fork full at a time. Split this bun, kinda fucked it up. Press it down in there. Go ahead, same process with the other bun. Take your forkfuls and just place it in there, so. And there you have it guys, the tuna hot dog potato chip sandwich. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys learned a little bit on how to uh, chef up you guys' lunch today. Let's, uh, let's try an exciting new meal together and uh, I'll see you guys later.